Good evening all today we will discuss corpus luteum and ectopic pregnancy. How we will differentiate in ultrasound image because this is the very very important statement questions they will ask in any TC examination because this is the corpus luteum and ectopic pregnancy you are very much confused about during the routine practice because the corpus luteum almost similar presentations and the similar ultrasound findings to uh, you have to know how to differentiate the things. First thing is the corpus luteum in the, the location will be it is originated from the intra ovarian origin the corpus luteum will be originated intra ovarian okay so intra ovarian origin is the corpus luteum ecto pregnancy is extra ovarian like due from tubes very very important statement the corpus first you have to see the wall thickness wall thickness it is in the corpus luteum because it is a thinner wall so thinner walls means it is hypo -echogenic. it is more hypo -echogenic. you can see here the images it is a thinner wall, it is very hypo -echogenic. This is the ovarian, okay, corpus luteum is origin for the ovarian. Ovary, it is attached to the ovary, it is corpus luteum. Tubal pregnancy, it is extra ovarian. And uh, uh, hypo -echoic, thinner wall is corpus luteum. So, it is look like a hypo -echogenic. The extra ovarian, extra ovarian is the tubal ectopic pregnancy. How we will see, the, because it has a thicker wall, because it has a thicker wall, you can see the tube ectopic pregnancy inside the fetal pole is there thicker wall so it is more echogenic the wall like that of so thicker means the hypo echoic wall like that of here if this is, is the hypo echogenic ipsilateral corpus luteum so more hypo echoic walls like that of here over in stroma so if you see the wall is hypo echogenic more hypo echogenic that is looking similar to that of ovarian you have to compare with your ovarian stroma if the ovarian stroma is similar to that of your corpus luteal cyst wall then it is corpus luteum then if it is more echogenic the wall thickness is more echogenic because thicker echogenic hyper echogenic it is look like more white is that of endometrium thickness then endometrial lining so it is like more echogenic okay hyper echogenic or hype it is hypo it is hypo hyper Okay, then increased vascularity. Usually the corpus luteum is less vascular, no increased vascularity, but in the uh, uh, ectopic pregnancy, you can see the how the vascularity will increase, that is the ring of fire appearance. Okay, and the, the blood flow in the corpus luteum will be circumferential blood flow. Here it is focal or segmental in the ectopic pregnancy. It is literature so, but it is very different set between, uh, usually you can see also circumferential in the ectopic pregnancy also then the color of the flow will be increased peak systolic volume and diastolic blood because of tropoplastic flow that will bring up fire signs okay the next important signs is claw signs in the corpus luteum what is claw signs suppose this is your corpus luteum how the uh, the claw signs mean the claw signs mean the ovarian follicles the ovarian follicles and the stroma of the ovary will be held like a claw like a claw to the corpus luteum very very important this is the claw signs of the corpus luteum the follicles around the corpus luteum like a claw okay then next is ectopic pregnancy the ovarian ovary with tubes this ectopic mass will make is acute angle that is acute angle okay the ectopic mass the, uh, the claw sign is typically with the corpus luteum cyst and the ectopic mass has an acute angle with the ovary how the, this is suppose this is the uh, ectopic mass okay this is the ectopic mass ectopic mass will make an with the ovary it will make with acute angle this is the acute angle with ectopic mass this is the like less than 90 degree this is called as acute angle with ovary that is the ectopic mass this is the differentiated feature between the corpus luteum and the ectopic tubal, tubal ectopic then another very very important that is very easy to identify low flow brownian movement what happen if you see in ultrasound image the low flow brownian movement will be seen in the ectopic pregnancy because there will be initial tropoblast has not that much flow so low flow movement will be seen so it is the low flow brownian movement will don't take doppler in early ectopic pregnancy in corpus luteum this low flow brownian movement will be absent so very very important statement so typically i will discuss other things uh, i will and another thing here you can see this is a corpus luteum this is the corpus luteum with a rupture hemorrhagic cyst because there you can see there will be interlacing um, hemorrhagic uh, nate like pattern because of hemorrhage there will be nate like blood clot because of blood clot there will be nate like patterns inside the cystic cysts inside the corpus luteums okay you can see this is the ectopic pregnancy with thick wall hyperechogenic it is hypoechogenic it is a corpus luteum okay this is the ring of fire signs 
this is a uh, hypoechogenic wall thinner wall attached to the ovary this is a hypoecho ipsilateral corpus luteum hypo hypoechogenic this is hyperechogenic uh, tubal ectopic okay so i'll recap quickly the corpus luteum versus ectopic pregnancy corpus luteum and uh, corpus luteum has intra ovarian origin ectopic pregnancy has extra ovarian origin because corpus luteum is thinner wall it is hypoechogenic and uh, uh, because uh, hypoechogenic and it is more hypoechoic wall like that of your ovarian stroma and extra ovarian origin is the ectopic pregnancy it is hyperechoic thicker wall it is more hyperechogenic it like that of your endometrial lining no here no increase corpus luteum no increase vascularity in the ectopic pregnancy there will be a color doppler so increase the peak systolic velocity and diastolic velocity trophoblastic flow ring of fire signs and the flow will be circumferential in the corpus luteum focal segmental in the ectopic pregnancy it can be vice versa it's another things uh, the claw sign will be differentiated between the you see this corpus luteum is uh, the cyst is covered by the it is a whole like a claw by the follicles and the ovarian stroma okay this is the claw sign the in ectopic mass there will be acute angle with the acute angle with the acute angle with the mass uh, another is the low flow brownian moment will be present in the initial trophoblastic flow because we don't talk doppler in the active pregnancy low flow brownian moment is absent in the corpus luteum another things clinically you can differentiate hcg does not alter in case of corpus luteum there will be a chance of intrauterine pregnancy may be present and with empty uterus with hcg level above discriminated zone there will be a chance of ectopic pregnancy that will be a differentiated feature also uh, corpus luteum usually self limited rupture risk is less in ectopic pregnancy risk of rupture is high so very very important uh, ultrasound feature that will differentiate the ectopic and corpus luteum thank you if you like this please subscribe and like thank you